what about in terms of success and at that point where you reached your ultimate height, was it more difficult to feel like, oh my God, I need to keep this? Or was it more difficult to feel so exposed in the public eye? Probably the latter. Um, I almost didn't sign my record deal, which sounds strange for a homeless kid. Um, but I felt like fame was very dangerous for somebody with my background. I don't think fame and power change who you are. I think it exaggerates who you are. So if you're insecure, you're going to be more insecure. If you're power hungry, you're going to be more power hungry. If you need applause, you're going to need it more. And I had a lot of baggage. You know, I had a lot of things that would kind of destine me for failure. And so I tried to set up my career in a way that supported my goal, which was to hopefully be a good artist. And it wasn't ever to be famous and it wasn't ever to be rich. And so I turned down a lot of things in my career that might have skyrocketed me to fame. Like I was actually asked to be in one of the first seasons of The Real World. No way. Yeah. And I turned it down, which horrified my label. But I was like, I don't want to be known as that girl. I want to be known as somebody who writes. And so I just right. did 500 shows a year and grinded it out. And ended up getting very famous, but it was hard for me because I was such a shy, introverted person and suddenly having everybody know me and and talk to me on this not talk to me but just like feel like they owned you people were they grab you and they'd right. you'd need security around you all the time so that was a really tough transition and I've gotten a lot better at it now yes but watch out everybody <laughs> no I'm kidding <laughs>